Now, there probably are a fair few people that uh, might pick up on one or two of my videos and think, my God, this guy is totally mad in his thinking. Uh, I'm going to share a an experience that um, does demand a certain worldview. Um, it's obviously a worldview that I have, but I'm aware that many others won't. And if you do not have this worldview uh, or you've not had can't relate to a similar experience, then this probably will seem very bizarre. Um, I'm just relating it because I think it could be valid and useful to those that might want to explore this or at least consider this possibility. And this has to do with the way that I believe that humans can communicate, as it were, at a subconscious level, heart to heart, if you like, or soul to soul. So who knows uh, what the function of the mind is, the sort of tele telepathy and so on. For me, it is not so much about image. It's not about having thoughts and, and so on. There's a degree of um, volition, I guess, that's driven by the, the mind and, and, and so on and imagination. But primarily, it is a felt experience. It's within. It's a sense of empathizing, if I can put it that way. I guess... Probably um, we can think of being in love with someone as perhaps the most extreme example. But I think we can have this sense of connection, this sense of talking almost with somebody or um, relating to them at this deep level in any situation and however brief. The reason I mention this is because yesterday I was at Cindy's Boys Will Be Girls in London for a uh, wonderful visit, which uh, I will be putting together in a video diary, probably two video diaries, because we did a couple of quite distinct um, things yesterday, which were very interesting. Hopefully be putting that together within the next week or two. But one of the things we were... Um, at my request, experimenting with was the idea of acting out different scenarios that Anya, my femme personality, or one of my femme personalities, might find herself in. And particularly in relational context, that was very much the focus yesterday. So these were really quite brief, um, getting in like an actor would do, really, into um, feeling an emotion, feeling... Um, a sense of being in a situation, even though I was sitting in a studio uh, or in a lounge and um, there was, you know, a, a very different background to, to the scenario that was in my mind, but particularly this felt experience. That was really what it was all about. Can I really imagine what it's like to feel fed up with a guy that I just had an argument with, for example? So I'll offer the reflections on that in a separate video and, and with the video diary itself. But on my way back uh, after seeing Cindy, I was on the Tube in London, and it was quite busy. It was just after rush hour, and I was standing, as you do, holding on to the uh, train uh, strap, and there was a guy next to me. And I kind of had this sense of, what would it be like? Can I imagine still being Anya? Uh, standing on this train, <laughs> um, you know, if he was a partner or something like that, or a friend. And so I had this little bit of a sense of a connection there. I feel there's only so far you can go with this because I think there's possibly an ethical problem um, with projecting too heavily, if if it is true. And again, I'm, I'm expressing a, a worldview that many won't associate with or agree with but if it is possible that we can kind of dump something onto somebody else our our vibe our um our desire um clearly if you do that too strongly that the other person is picking up and doesn't want to engage then you would be invading their space you would be um wanting well not wanting them you you will be demanding of them something they don't want to do so i have a sense that this is something to tread lightly with um probably at a, a light level it's fine but there's a, a small vibration there's a small sense um what i can report is that yes i i was in that mode i did feel connected 
Um, I let go. Perhaps what I should have done was at a soul level, as it were, thank the individual in case I did um, unwittingly um, invade or um, um, distract them in some way and, and um, you know, apologize for that. I didn't actually do that at the time, but I think if this is a practice that you're going to engage in, maybe that's one to do. But it's kind of, I guess I was trying to think of a word or phrase for it. I, w- I came up with the idea of embodied empathy, this idea that you're empathizing perhaps with your femme character, in my case. Um, of course, if you're trans man, uh, with your, your male character, um, and you're putting yourself in a situation on in public where you are relating to someone, maybe it's someone sitting next to you on a train or, or whatever. So this doesn't have to be demanding anything of this other person or um, imagining some deep relationship or anything like that. It can just be using that person or people or group of people on a train, for example, to, to, to paint uh, in the scenario that you're in to, to really allow yourself, in, in my case as Anya, to feel that I'm Anya in that situation. I'm traveling on a train as Anya with these people around me and I'm relating to them as Anya. And to just notice, just to observe the feeling um, that that arises, uh, that arises within as a result, Um, which I think for me is different to when I'm standing there as Clive, maybe because I'm purposely being more conscious, more aware of um, myself in that situation. But it doesn't involve any dress or props or anything. It's just getting into the essence, the person within. Very interesting experiment. But as I say, I think go carefully with this one um, uh, so as not to cross a line where it would potentially be um, invasive of someone else's space. And um, yeah, probably that little thank you and apologies and please forgive and release kind of thing, anything, any energy, as it were, that I've unwittingly passed on to you that you you don't want. All of this is unspoken in terms of verbal, of course. Um, It's all going on at this inner level. I find this hard to articulate because it's a feeling. It's, um, as I say, if you've not experienced this, it probably sounds mad. But um, just reporting back um, an observation from yesterday, it can work. And it can work in an instant. It can work in a, in a, in a, in a minute. You, know, you, you grab a minute on the train, you're in a scenario, provided you can get into this state of imagination, an imagination that's not just primarily about images and what's going on in the mind. Interesting little experiment yesterday, but as I say, perhaps one to to be a little bit cautious of how far you take it, if you do. (laughs) 